week on Storyboard, we speak to Casper Schlickham, CEO Wunderman Asia Pacific on data-driven and technology-enabled opportunities for marketers. We also caught up with Lakshman and Narayan, CEO and co-founder Unmetric at the recently held WPP stream in Jaipur and spoke to him about the social media analytics landscape and challenges faced by a marketer today. And Tata Signa ensures performance har kadam in their new TVC. Hello and welcome to Storyboard. This is Shibani Gharat. Technology is changing the way in which brands interact with their consumers and this technology is data driven. How can marketers be more targeted and engage better with their consumers using tech? Kasper Schlickham, CEO Wunderman Asia Pacific has some interesting insights which he shares in this conversation with Storyboard editor Anant Rangaswamy. Let's take a look. Kasper, to begin with, uh, can you demystify uh, what data-driven is, what programmatic is for my viewers? Sure. Um, there's been a very interesting, uh, I would say almost revolution happening in marketing, actually not unlike most industries. Uh, technology is changing the way we work. You know, te technology is changing operating models. Technology is creating new opportunities for how brands can engage with their customers. And um, uh, that technology is data-driven. And, and the reason for that is that rather than, uh, rather than having people make decisions about whether to show an ad, where to show an ad, what ad to show, right. uh, we're increasingly relying on technology, on algorithms, if you like, on machines to make a decision for us mm -hmm. and to optimize those decisions. Right? Now just like in other industries as well, if we're relying on machines to make decisions for us, we have those, deci those machines, those algorithms, um, need to make decisions based on something. Right. You know, and that something is, of course, data. Right. So at, it, at its most simple, this whole programmatic revolution or the technology revolution that's happening in marketing is really about data forming the foundational layer um, which is instructing marketers or which is instructing algorithms about you know, which ad to show, what the ad looks like, what the optimal way of engaging with a customer at each point of the customer journey is. Right. Right? And so if, if it's all about data then, so we're thinking about the types of data, and that makes the customer experience, the customer journey overall. How does someone go from not knowing about your brand and your business, potentially not even being interested in your category, right. all the way through to being a loyal customer? And at each point as they go through that journey, they create new types of data points. They create new opportunities for engagement. And, the da and, and allowing the data and allowing technology to drive those interactions is a very, very powerful thing because you can be very targeted, you can be very relevant, you can be very, very engaging with your audience in ways that was much more difficult when you had to rely on people to make those decisions. Casper, the, the, the more you worked in Zaxis, now you're, you're with Wonderman. You know, the kind of stuff you do, from the sense I get, you're competing with all the media agencies as well. So are they your competitors? No. I, so my move or from... Or you work with them? That's right. We work very closely with, t together. Right. Um, and across WPP, I think we have a very good model for collaboration, actually. Um, horizontality. Horizontality, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The word we invented. <laughs> uh, but it works very, very well because it still allows each of the individual brands to do what they do. Right. Uh, you know, in a highly specialized um, and increasingly complex industry, you know, specialization is a good thing. You know, understanding and having experts in various parts of what is an incredibly complex and only increasingly complex ecosystem in marketing um, is very, very important. And so, you know, different brands of agencies attract different specialists. Right. Right? And, and different brands of agencies with those specialists are able to go and have conversations with clients about specialized areas of the, va of the marketing value chain, which is, I think, very important. You know, my move from Zaxxas to Wonderman was a very deliberate one. Um, I helped found Zaxxas. Um, it was a fantastic five-year journey building that business from, from nothing with many colleagues, and it was a huge team effort with Group M and the agencies into a very successful business today. Um, but towards the end of my time at Zaxxas, um, I had started to become very interested in not just how data and technology were driving different uh, automated media decisions, like we just talked about, um, but actually uh, and, uh, how, those, how that data and technology could drive creative decisions right. Right? and have, a, have more of a relevant role in the process of creativity. Right. So 
again, within the WPP family, I'd started to have various conversations with our agencies about how that could be brought to life. How could what we were doing with data and technology be incorporated earlier on in the communications planning process? You know, not at the end when it comes to the media plan, but right at the beginning. So that From the insight. Yeah, so that technology and data forms a part of the actual campaign idea. Right? Um, and um, when I went to see Wonderman, I was very excited by the positioning that the business had about being um, uh, uh, data-driven, creatively inspired. Right? Uh, so create, creative-driven, data-inspired. So um, uh, the, the whole business is about, is about um, creativity. It's about ul ultimately the end product is creativity. Um, but data plays a fundamentally important role in that for Wonderman. Tell me about uh, data-driven creativity. I mean, uh, explain to me what, how that is different from, say, uh, an overview or a law or whatever. Sure. It, it helps maybe to think a little bit about Wonderman and where our business came from, right. uh, to think about the difference between sure, sure. us and, say, some of the creative agencies. Um, Wonderman was founded by Lester Wonderman as a direct marketing company, Absolutely. direct mail. Right? He invented direct mail. But actually what he invented was a process, right? a process where he looked at very granular data um, about people's behavior, how they were buying things, you know, all the data he could. He was then crafting very tailored, creative messages. messages and content with a very clear call to action, you know, coupons. He actually invented the free call number in America. Right. Right? Right. He then distributed that through the best available um, technology at the time for a direct mail, which was a piece of paper through a letterbox, right. um, and then analyzed that with a very clear focus on business results and optimized the process. Right. So that process at the time was very revolutionary compared to some of the other creative agencies. You know, you might see it as bottom-up creativity rather than top-down creativity. It wasn't about the big idea. You know, the big idea had a role to play, but really it was about how do you bring to life the opportunities created by very granular data in your creative execution. And I think to today, I think your agency DNA is very sticky. You know, agencies, for, for good reason, by the way, there's not a criticism, but you know, agencies are proud of their heritage, and they should be. And we're very proud of ours in the sense that that process that, that, that was invented is best practice in digital today. Now, there are more data opportunities, no question. There are more opportunities for different types of creativity. There are more, as we know, opportunities for engagement um, and for response. Um, there are many more opportunities for distribution, social media, um, you know, EDM, you know, um, uh, emails, you know, SMS messages, you know, there are ma many WhatsApp. Um, and obviously, the complexity of the analytics is, is the same, but the process, you know, the process of how you drive results is, is actually very, very similar in the digital space. So today, Wonderman is 100% digital, right. um, you know, and, and, and we're still 100% focused on driving actual business results for our brands and so for our clients. Share with me how procurement deals with uh, a business like yours, because like I said, the marketers are used to saying, I pay a creative agency, I pay a PR agency, I pay a media agency, and now in comes a Wonderman and sure. they want some more money. So what happens? So th there we work with clients around WPP in a number of different ways. Um, and we try to structure how we work with our clients depending on our clients' needs, including from a procurement point of view. So we have some of our, our clients, um, uh, for example, we're very proud of the work we do with Ford, um, which we do through GTB, which is a aligned yeah. um, a, a, a sort of version of that horizontality we talked about before where, where WPP has brought together a number of agencies around the group, Wonderman being one of them, um, and we deliver a completely bespoke, aligned, combined solution which is, you know, um, how Ford wants to work with us, how Ford Procurement wants to work with us. It works well for the marketing team and it works well for the agencies because we're able to collaborate in a really constructive way with each other. And we have some, some brands that work with Wonderman very, very specifically. Um, you know, in terms of the relationship then with procurement, uh, you know, our primary point of contact is usually the marketers um, who have, you know, decided on a need for, for us and then, you know, we have to prove our value. Um, uh, and, 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 you know, the, the, the focus we have on business results, you know, I'm very, I'm, I'm very happy to say that, you know, I think we can, we can prove, we, we have a very easy way to prove our value because we're very focused on actually driving results for the business. And finally, uh, before we end this chat, tell us some India stories. Some uh, stories, India stories. That, that you, you, you like. Yeah, uh, you know, solutions you found for your for clients here. Sure, sure, sure. So, I mean, I think there's a, there's some really interesting dynamics in India. Um, 
obviously mobile is the, the way that mobile operates here in the market is completely different to, to how it does in other markets it's much more important it's a, it's a core platform here um, one of the things that was very interesting that we um, that, that I found very inspiring uh, was we went to a, a conference here in India in, um, a, uh, in Jaipur last week called WPP Stream which is a, a very interesting digital conference um, uh, and uh, Google were there talking about their um, Internet Satis program but you still didn't answer my question. Tell me some India stories. Some India stories. I mean, uh, success stories. Sure. Um, so w one of the clients we're very proud of working with is GSK, um, and we know we all know about Indian con Indian people's obsession with food. Um, certainly, I do. I've, I've you know the communal, the communal food eating, the sharing of food, the the almost ritual, the, the rituals around how food is consumed in the country. Um, so we did some work for Sensodyne, which is uh, one of the GSK brands, obviously focusing um, uh, the, the key proposition is around sensitive teeth. And uh, we brought together a number of existing Sensodyne customers to share a meal together um, and talk about how um, the use of Sensodyne has desensitized te their teeth to the point where they're able to enjoy meals again that they previously or were struggling to. Um, and again, by bringing them together in that sort of environment of sharing food and you know, like, like many Indian families and people do, um, it, it was really interesting and engaging content, which we then created and filmed and were able to use in our campaigns. Fantastic. So, uh, hope to see you back in India and hope by then uh, Indians are a little more about data driven and programmatic. Uh, you'll definitely Thank see you me so back here. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. It is time for us to take a short break. When we return, we speak to Lakshman and Narayan, CEO and co founder on Metric, about the social media landscape and challenges faced by a marketer. And we also get to see the exclusive preview of the new campaign for Tata Signa. Speedometer is driving comfort level. Oh, I got it.